blessing to be here this morning again to give God praise and to serve the living God that has brought us through many things. Amen. If you are sitting next to somebody, tell the person there is much joy in the presence of God. Tell the person there is much joy. Tell look, Bano or 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 Giolo or whatever you gotta call the person said there is much joy in the presence of God. Whether we are in the presence or we are watching him on the screen it's no problem we will have joy we'll make ourselves happy amen corona can't come 
now and now turn our faith away turn our eyes away from the god who has brought us through even worse things more than corona amen so that is why we must it is important for us we must hold fast to the things that god has taught us amen we have had so many teachings we have been blessed to sit under the ministry of bishop victor collins of sabre he has taught us a lot of things amen and at this point in our christian life at this point where god has brought us corona should not prevent us from serving him amen he's a faithful god and we must also be faithful to him hallelujah this reminds me of the scripture in hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 I'm reading from the New Living Translation. It says that we do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. The Bible says in King James, looking on to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. God is the one who started it all. And he is the one who will finish it. You must believe this strongly in your hearts. Amen. I want us to pray and lift up our voice unto God. Let, let your voice be heard. Amen. Whether it be by your neighbors or your family members, let them know that this person, the Holy Spirit is in this house because of how you are praying. Pray this morning. Say, Lord, my eyes is fixed on you alone, O God. I will look nowhere else but towards heaven towards your throne your throne of grace a throne that is filled with mercy pray this morning say father my eyes are fixed on you my eyes are fixed on you oh lord my eyes are fixed on you i will look nowhere else but to the author and the finisher of my faith we will serve you faithfully oh god no pandemic no corona no sickness and diseases will turn our faith away from you, O Lord. Rashika Pase Kedebe Shekedebea. Raka Mashe Kedebe Sekedebea. Rabaka Mama Shekedebea Sekedebea. Wabala Mashe Kedebe Sekedebea. Rekedebe Shekedebea. Rabashe Kedebe Sekedebea. Rama Baka Barabashe Kedebea. Rabashe Kedebe Sekedebe Kedebea. O Lord, hear our prayers to you this morning. Hear our cry unto you, O Lord. Resheka Rabase Kedebea. Rana Shekedebe Sekedebea Mama. We will look to Jesus. We will look to the throne of grace. I fix my eyes on you. Rabana mama, rabashe kere bese ke mama mama, rabashe kere bese ke mama mama kama mama mama, rabashe kere bese kere bese ke mama mama, rabashe kere bese ke mama kama mama mama, rekere bese ke mama mama kama mama mama, rabashe kere bese ke mama kama mama mama, rabashe kere bese ke mama kama mama mama, rekere bese ke mama mama kama mama mama, rabashe mama mama, rabashe kere bese kere bese kere bese, rabana mama kama mama mama, rabashe kere bese mama kama mama mama, rabama kama mama kama mama mama, rabama kama mama 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 kama We'll read two scriptures from this chapter, verse 8 and verse 12. Bible says in verse 8, God, sorry, good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he instructs sinners in the way. God is a righteous God. He's an upright God. And he instructs sinners like you and me. I don't know about you if you call yourself a sinner, but I'm a sinner, amen. That is why I run to church every Sunday and I and, and I pray to God for forgiveness, amen. I run to the truth of grace. He instructs us in the way that we should go. The Bible says in verse 12, Who is the man who fears God? They're asking the King David is asking the question, Who is the man that fears God? I'm a man that fears God. If you are a person that fears God, say me, me Leon, you mention yourself, me Leon, I fear God. The Bible says then, he will instruct him in the way he should go. We're about to receive great instructions, amen. 
when the man of God stands here and imparts great words in our lives. It's instructions God is giving us. Don't be deceived. God is instructing you on how you should live your life. Don't look at it as just some man coming and preach every Sunday that you have to tune in because somebody said that must go and tune in. Go on this Facebook. Click on this link. Don't be like a person like that. Be like someone who is eager to hear what God has to say to you. Whether it's coming from a man or God from himself, you must open your hearts and open your minds and believe that God will instruct you. Amen. Say, God, instruct me this morning. And give me instructions for my life, oh God. I'm a sinner. I fear you, oh God. Your word says that you will teach me. You will instruct me in the way. Teach me this morning, oh God. Give me instruction. Let me hear your voice. Pray. Say, Lord, teach me here. Teach me, oh God. Teach me here. Teach me, oh Lord. Teach me, oh Lord. I am one that fears God. I'm a sinner, oh God. I need your help, oh Lord. Teach me, oh Lord. Teach me your words, I pray. Mention your name. Say, me. I, Leon, I need your teaching, oh God. I need your teaching, oh God. Oh Lord, I cannot survive without your teachings. Give me instructions, oh Lord, that will take me down the path of righteousness. Instructions that will keep me on that great path, oh God. The righteous path, oh God. That you have before long. Ordained that I should walk, oh God. Hear the cry of your humble servants, oh God. Your proud children. Proud to be in your kingdom. We are proud to be called sons and daughters of the one, the only mighty God. Father, teach your people this morning. Let this service, O God, as they are watching, let this service change their lives. Let it change many lives, I pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Why don't you put your hands together for God? Amen. Give God a loud hand clap. Make sure your hand clap is so loud that it will shake the earth. Amen. Shake the house here in. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are in for an exciting time today. We are in for a power pack service today. So I want to encourage you that when it's time for the praise and the worship, make sure you make some space. I always say make space in your room. If you got a flip, I was saying, flip up your bed and push it in the corner. No problem. You flip up your bed and push it in the corner. Slide your wall. Drop down one so you got the energy for slide and make some space in your room. But if you live in a house, you got to move some um, sofa and, and furniture. Move your fridge. No problem. Say so today I'm going to dance and praise God. Amen. Why don't you put your hands together as you welcome the praise and worship team as they lead us into powerful times of praise and worship to our God. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, we want to praise God today. Just want to encourage you to put your hands together as we praise God. Hallelujah. Come on. standing here in his presence giving him all the praise and all the glory standing here in your presence thinking of good things you have done waiting here patiently just to hear your spirit small voice again holy righteous faithful till the Savior, healer, redeemer. 
It's such a powerful time. We had a such a powerful time praising God. Amen. There's no greater joy than to shaking our waist to the glory of God. Amen. When you go to the nightclubs, you go to parties and you dance. Why you can't also dance in the presence of God? Hallelujah. And now it's time for us to give a powerful offering. Amen. Last week Saturday I was talking to somebody. And it's interesting what the person told me. I, it was interesting because I received the, a revelation when they told me. I mean, it's not unexpected, but it was expected. So I was telling the pastor, um, that, it wasn't a pastor, I was telling the person about my pastor. I said, my pastor is a good pastor, should come to church. It's a good church. And the person said, oh, Island Church is, is money, money. Island thing is money, money. I said, hey, if you think that church is making money, why are you not in the business of church? If you think it's money that you'll make. I said, if you want to make money, then come to my church. You'll make plenty money. The person, no, we say you have good sense. Because if you think it's money only, you come and see the problems that people will give you, you will forget about money, amen. But I was telling my, um, my folks in the E on the standing um, service last Wednesday, I said, when you give an offering, I said, don't think about where it's going. The most important thing is that you are giving. The moment you give, you activate the blessing of receiving, amen. God didn't say give and then you must now comment and consider and think about who is getting the money and where the money is going. That is not your business. It's not our business. Our business is giving the money to God. And when you give, the money goes wherever it has to go. But God sees a sacrifice and blesses you. So when you hear people talking about you giving all your money to each other, say, hey, 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 hey. If I give my money, it's me money. If it goes to the pastor, it goes to the church, it goes to God, I know that I receive a blessing. Amen. So you must give, and give good amount of money, amen. The Bible says in Malachi 3, 10, it says that you should prove me. God says, prove me and see if I will not open up the windows of heaven and pour out, shower you down with blessings. I didn't see in the scriptures, he said, come and test me. But when you give offering, then we will discuss and see where the money goes. He didn't say that in the scripture. I don't think we saw that there in the scripture. So give, 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 hallelujah. If you are giving by the MMG, I'm sure the number is there on the screen. Make sure you give a powerful offering. Amen. It's no problem if you if your hand mistakenly you know touch another zero and it goes up maybe fifty thousand or five thousand. God is gonna bless you. Don't change it. Maybe God is telling you something. Amen. If you have your offerings, you are giving it wherever you are. Lift up your phones and let's pray. Heavenly Father, these MMG accounts, oh God, let it be replenished. As they log out and log in back, O oh God, let them see the marvelous works of, of our God. Amen. Let them receive, O oh God, calls this week. Special calls, O oh God. Exciting news, O oh Lord, that they have been refreshed, that they have received the rewards that you have promised them, O oh God. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Give. Give. Amen. Hallelujah. And now this time we're going to receive, as you are giving your offering, we want to receive a powerful song ministration from our dear sister, Anna Fields. Why don't you put your hands together and welcome her as she comes to 
sing for us. Amen. Hallelujah.
such a beautiful song ministration. Thank you so much. We have been so blessed by that song ministration. Amen. Well, you know what time is it? I'm sure this time you know what time is it. If you don't know what time is it, well, I'll show you what time is it. Amen. You know what it says? It says, I was down to zero. Whoa, raised me up, made me a hero. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the dancing start. Why don't you make some noise wherever you are? Put your hands together and shout, Dancing Stars! It's my class, it's my class. I've been through ups and downs. I've been through pain and tears. Then I heard the voice of God. He has shown me that we are never turning back. I do be a comic school. I'm my name at Jimmy Moon. Make me in a mummy school. Friends and Yami walk on me home. I do be a comic school. I'm my name at Jimmy Moon. Make me in a mummy school. Friends and Yami walk on me home. Oh, I'm only mechanic. The Lord is my light. Oh, I'm only mechanic. The Lord is my light. He has never failed me, he will never fail me I couldn't imagine, he is always there for me He has never failed me, he will never fail me City thing I mean, Kebono, Bono, eh Makume Munina, Kebono, Bono, eh Afano Mega, Kebono, Bono, eh Indian TV fan, Kebono, Bono, eh You died on the cross for me You shed your blood for me Your love is pure with you I'm standing tall You died on the cross for me You shed your blood for me Your love is pure With you I'm standing tall I don't be a comic school I'm my name at Jimmy Moon They didn't know my miss you Fresh and yummy what I'm the home I don't be a comic school I'm my name at Jimmy Moon They didn't know my miss you Fresh and yummy what I'm the home I know they make me a The Lord is my light here Hallelujah. Wow. I was dancing in the background, you know. I was bossing a sweat, amen. But the dancing stars they couldn't keep up with me, so you know, or probably I wasn't keeping up with them. But one of the distances there was there was one not keeping up with the other. Well, we're not gonna go into all of that, amen. We're almost there, we're almost to that special time where God speaks to us. But before the anointed man of God comes, well, you know we gotta hear honey's voice. Amen. Why don't you put your hands together and shout, honey? <laughs> Amen. Bye. 
faith. Egyptians try to do the same old thing. Only by faith can you do certain things. Oh, faith changes everything. Your faith is your secret weapon. So walk by faith and live by Thank you. 
their faith. Egyptians tried to do the same and fail. Only by faith can you do certain things. All right. Faith changes everything. Your faith is your secret weapon. So walk by faith and live by faith. Alright. You gotta walk by faith. Alright. You gotta walk by faith. It has been such an exciting service, amen. All the singing and dances has brought, dancing has brought us to this point in the service. It's time to hear what God has in store for us, amen. And we are so blessed every time to have our dear um, pastor, our teacher, our father, stand at this pulpit and teach us God's word, amen. We have come to that special part of the service, amen. So I wanna encourage you at this time, don't let anything distract you. Don't let the rice distract you too much on the stove. Don't let the cheering come and say, mommy, mommy, or daddy, daddy, tell them, you come and sit down here and watch this service with me. God wants to speak to you as well, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, why don't you stand to your feet if you're already standing, put your hands together. If you're already putting your hands together, give God a loud shout as we welcome to the pulpit, our pastor, Bishop Victor Collins, uh, said hallelujah i excited to be um tuning in this saturday morning it's saturday morning isn't it very early um it's very 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 uh, intentional i want you to be cooking and be listening i want you to be watching and be listening you don't have to be watching but at least you can listen just tuning and wash cook clean pull her gray hair and boss boil you know saturday morning right there in linden wherever you are but you know make sure the message is playing in the background amen i'm excited to be around i'm excited to be around this morning on the book and the face hallelujah let's pray for god so love the world that he gave his only son and whosoever believes will not 
perish, they shall have eternal life. Oh, for God, for God, so love the world, and that He gave His only Son, whosoever believes will not perish, they shall have eternal life. Father, this morning, we well, thank you for another opportunity to hear from you. I pray you speak to our hearts, you affect our lives, and that you not allow us to leave this service, this live streaming service, the same as we joined. Thank you for those who are listening, those who are watching, those who are going to listen and watch even after this live streaming has ended. I thank you for the impartation and the revelations. In Jesus' name, somebody said, Amen. Hallelujah. One of you, you may be seated wherever you are. You may be, um, whatever you're doing, you know, you can, you may be seated, you may be standing, you may be cooking, you may be watching. You know, if you, if you can, you know, um, how do you call it? these smart things they have these days, you know, your, your, if you're on your phone, you can um, view it on your TV. Um, there, I think there are functions like that. There are smart things. I mean, the answer, you can cast it on your TV cast it on the wall, cast it somewhere, right? But cast it upon the LG TV you've got in the house or the Samsung TV that you've got or the Apple TV that you have, all right? Wonderful. We're looking at Psalm 23, isn't it? We're on a journey um, through Psalm 23. I'm enjoying the series. I hope you're enjoying the series as well. Um, it's taking us a little bit of time, but I think it's worth it. Is it not worth it? Yes. It's worth spending time to understand the scriptures. All right? Because the Bible is, is our foundation. The Bible, the scripture, is our foundation. It's, and that, that's what is happening. Just like um, the law of any country. If you look at, if you look at uh, Guyana, the people are using the law. Pa. During this election time, they are using the law. Pa. This person say, explain what valid votes mean. Explain that many votes mean. Somebody said that you don't have jurisdiction. Somebody said, that, explain to me why the CEO should uh, write a report and then the chairman should say, go and bring another report. What is the, the framework? What does the law say? Then we go to CCJ, Caribbean Court of Justice. Then we come back. We first the appeal court. Then we, we went to this <laughs> chief justice. Remember if it was chief justice when Mingo, they said Mingo, Ringo, Ringo, Singo, Ringo. That, that thing they were talking about. Then um, I think Anil, Anil went to um, uh, the, the, the chief justice and then he, he pulled out. He said he, there's no evidence and he was fined about $400,000. Then the recount and then the appeal court then the CCJ, now back to uh, the, the Chief Justice, now the High Court. Man, I'm not sure by the time you are hearing this message, you know, if if it will be in the highest court or something. <laughs> I don't know what is going to happen. But you see, people are using the law. It's like once they, they, they hold on to the law, GCOM freezes. Uh, 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 Madam Chairperson, chair Chairwoman, Chair Lady freezes. Claudette, the Honorable Claudette, saying she freezes. GCOM freezes because something has been said. The case has gone to court. Once court comes in, it's like everybody freezes. Once you get uh, um, there's an injunction or you get subpoena to, to, to appear before to a magistrate or judge, everything freezes. You can't refuse to go. I mean, in the same way, you see, in the same way, the Bible, the words of Jesus, the Bible is our law. Somebody say our law. The Bible is our law as Christians, and we fall on the law of God. That's what the Bible says. That, 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 that um, um, Joshua, Joshua chapter one and verse eight. He said, um, "Do not what let this book of the law depart out of your mouth." This is the book of the law. You know. So when it comes to spiritual things, also once you refer or you quote the law, demons principalities 
powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, Satan, Mame, whatever, whatever, Lachmi, whatever, whatever you want to call, all of them freezes. You get it? Because you have appealed now to the supreme court of the supreme law of the land. You have appealed now to the supreme law of the spiritual realm. And all, everybody must freeze. Because the Bible says that the mention of the name of Jesus, who is the word, every knee bows and every tongue confesses. And so enjoy this psalm. Enjoy the exposition. Enjoy the revelations. Enjoy the length of time we're spending to analyze, break down the verses and the, uh, and the, and the chapters and the, you know, and the phrases, the line by line, precept upon precept, word upon word, here a little, there a little. Is that what the scripture says? One of the Bible says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul, my mind, my will, my emotion, he restores it. He restores it. He's like a mechanic. Your car is not working. You go to the mechanic. He fixes your vehicle for you. The Lord God, as our shepherd, is the one who also restores our minds, restores our wills, restores our emotions. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. We've done all of that. It's on podcast. You can check it out. Yea, though... I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff. Somebody say thy rod and thy staff. They comfort me. Together the rod and the staff, they comfort me. And thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. And thou anointest me head with ire. Me cup this run over, isn't it? <laughs> Crop is run over. <laughs> Surely goodness and mercy uh, shall follow me all the days of my life. And I'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever. We're looking at the, thy rod and thy staff. They comfort me. We've looked at the fact that um, the rod is a weapon of power and authority. Isn't it? We look at that. The rod is a weapon of power and authority. We also went to uh, the fact that the rod is um, also used to discipline. The rod is what brings discipline, and uh, you know spoke, we spoke extensively about discipline in the church. Um, my, this is my beef. My beef. Let me just you know make a comment. My beef is that um, in the society where we live, I mean in, in these days, and more so in this um, British Guyana or Guyana where we're living. Um, f f discipline is, is missing. Discipline, discipline is upset. And um, if you don't have discipline, a lot of things you can't do it. If you're going to run a race, you need discipline to run the race and to run well. To even train to run the race, it takes discipline. That's how many people don't do well in school because they don't have the discipline to sit down in one place and read notes over and over and work dy dx and trigonometry and uh, what, what, what binary equations, uh, fractions, simultaneous equations. They can't sit down. The factorization and and, and and they can't sit down. They can't sit down and and work it and work it and work it until they get it. So they just sit down one time and they, are, they find it difficult. They say, I don't like maths. They say, I don't like maths. But no matter where you go, maths is important. Even if you are a market woman, maths is important. If you are going to sell guinea by the roadside, maths is important. Because when somebody gives you $100 and you say, guinea is $20, now you have to be able to take $20 out of $100. Maths is, 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 is applicable everywhere. So when people say, I don't like maths, and that's why, you see, and then you say, uh, Lord have mercy. And then you see that the leaders, the leaders of our, of, our, of our systems also allow the indiscipline and, and, and the issues that, you see, when children can't pass mathematics, it is not SBA. No, it's not SBA. Then let's, let's the, let the whole CXC and K be SBA, simple. Let's make it school-based assessment. So I do my things in school, and then my teacher will market, market, and at the end of the day, he gives me a grade, and I'm, I'm done. I don't need no Caribbean and school or certificate. I don't need all of that. When we used to go to school, mm. like when you go to school, your two times, class one, class two, right. two times one, two times two, two times three, two times to twelve times, 
you need to know it from uh, out like that. You need to do one. You have to stand up. Uh, uh, class one, class two. Monday morning we call it mental. Mental. Your teacher comes with a with a stick like that, the bamboo stick, the bamboo that the Americans used to make the the, the chair. Cause oh. a nice piece may about about, about um, maybe about two feet, twenty four inches like that. Oh. And and it is nicer when they, they, they put they put um, I think what they used to do is they put kerosene or gas gasoline. They put it in gasoline and then you soak it and they put it in the sun to dry. Your, your bumsy your bumsy doesn't want such a thing. I tell you, your your little body doesn't want such a thing. I tell you, your bumsy your bum you will catch fire. <laughs> fire. Now when it catch fire, you will learn your six times. You will learn your six times. This is not mommy coming to school to come and fight the teacher. Oh. No nonsense you there born. If you don't know how to calculate two times three, and then I give you lashes, and then your mother comes to what to fight me? Okay, all right, it's okay. Even if you are a bus conductor, you and you said you need to know how to change money. So when I say okay. One guy, one US dollar is two hundred uh, Guyanese dollars. How much will twenty thousand Guyanese dollars be in US dollars? That, that you get Basidi, you get Basidi, you get for, you get Basidi. Say what? You get Basidi. But if the money was coming into your pocket, you know how much it is. Your face. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't know how much, when you go to a Western Union or you go to MoneyGram or you go to a, a Cambio, you, how, how how do you understand how much the people are going to give you? I see that place you calculate. You sit down and say, my, my, you, you, you forced to understand the calculations. That is how we, we are supposed to be forced to learn rather than give us room to do ex mathematics XBA. You should know what pi r square is. You do know what pi r square is. Pi r square. You should keep it in your head. <laughs> So the rod is used for discipline and the church needs to be disciplined. I tell you, the church needs to be disciplined. Um, if you are not a pastor, you are not a pastor. If you are a pastor, you are a pastor. If you are an apostle, you are an apostle, you are not an apostle, you are not an apostle. If you are a prophet, you are a prophet. If you are not a prophet, you are not a prophet. Oh, who is a prophet? A prophet is somebody who prophesies and it comes to pass. If you prophesy it doesn't come to pass, you are not a prophet. You can use the name anyhow you want it. You can be a, a bishop doctor. I don't know which is which. What a doctor does and what a bishop does, I don't know. We need discipline. We need straightness. We need forwardness when it comes to things. You understand? Hey, you see, it is discipline that made when we were growing up in the in the um, 60s and 70s. That is when if you wear girls' clothes, The reason why you can't turn the other side is discipline. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember growing up in one of the neighborhoods in, in, in Ghana. There's a guy. He, I've, never, I've never seen a comedian like him. He used to walk around with girls' dress and shoes. It was just fun. It was just joke. It was just a laughter. It had nothing to do with homosexuality. It works like that. And then the whole area, people say, ah, ah look, ah, everybody But he was as straight as a, a bamboo tree. <laughs> straight, no ten, 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 straight. It's discipline. Because who, who tell you that you use a girl when you use, use a boy? Who tell you that? Spare the rod, you will spoil the child. So discipline, the rod is used for that, all right? And it's also used to examine and to count the sheep. We looked at all of that. And of course, I think last, last week we looked at um, the rod being um, a source of protection for the shepherd and uh, the sheep. Right. So this morning, we want to go on to the staff. Thy staff, isn't it? Thy staff, thy staff, thy rod and thy staff. The rod and the staff goes hand in hand. It goes together. Horse and a carriage, isn't it? Marriage is like a 
Uh, love and marriage. Love and marriage, you know the song? Who's together like a horse and carriage? Heard you never heard it before? Oh. <laughs> love and marriage goes together like a horse and a carriage. Yeah. Uh -huh. You should, have been, you should have been born in Bonham or Chedi time. You have, you have know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Bonham or Chedi. <laughs> the staff, the staff is um, used by the shepherd. The staff is the, the shepherd is the only profession, the only uh, um, um, person in this world who walks with a staff. You get it, and 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 so he has a rod and he has a staff, and the staff is this, you know, long um, rod that has that has this curved tip on the top like that, and it's very important to understand what a curved tip is because that, that that's what the shepherd uses uh, most of the time for uh, to do his his things. Now, the, the 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 staff speaks of concern compassion uh, that the shepherd has for the sheep long suffering and kindness i tell you you see that the, 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 the staff is what the shepherd uses to um, deliver to 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 do a lot of things for the sheep and it takes it takes compassion it takes concern you see somebody um, uh, um, told a story about somebody who was drowning he was drowning. Oh, we say drowning. Is we say drowning? Drowning. Someone was drowning. That's clear, Lisa. Someone was drowning. It's, drowning. <laughs> it's like marrying. <laughs> marrying and drowning. <laughs> Respect and contact. <laughs> everybody, everybody. Yeah, everybody, everybody. That was everybody. Everybody won. Everybody run. <laughs> what am I saying? I'm saying that the what? The story of the drowning. The, the, the story of the drowning. You know, there's there somebody spoke about uh, told the story about someone who was drowning, or someone who was drowning in the river, and um, he said um, he used that story to kind of um, um, teach some people who were talking about a woman cannot and, and should not preach. You understand? Many people don't believe that women should preach. Some churches don't believe in it. Some some Christians don't believe in it. Yeah, some people they come to the church and there's a woman uh, preaching. You know, they, they, they walk out. I've seen that. Be I've seen one before. The person came to the church. There was a woman and he left the church. I mean, in, in Guyana, you probably can understand because you you grew up with your mother. You went to school. Your Spanish teacher is is a woman. Miss Harry, Miss Harry, Miss Harry, Buenos Dias, Miss Harry, Buenos Noches, you know, Spanish, 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 Spanish. They are computer, ED, ED, yeah, EDPM, EDPM, or your, your whatever, it's also a woman. Okay, and, uh, you know, the head of the school is also a woman. Mistress, 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 mistress. So you are in the house, there's, there's no father, it's a woman you, you, you're in the house with. And the woman is talking plenty, everything. Woman, woman, bye, bye, hey, bye, hey, hey, bye, hey, bye. When you go to school, do, 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 do. miss, miss Harry, miss, uh, all this, miss, 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 miss. And then the head of the school, if you, if you misbehave, they take you to the headmistress. Now, if you say you are going to church, Sunday school, it's also a woman who's teaching you Bible. Noah's Ark, uh, David and uh, Goliath is also a woman. Now, if you enter a church as an adult and you see a woman there, I mean, you can understand why you'd be fed up with a woman, you know, <laughs> preaching in the church also. <laughs> yeah, I mean, all your life is a woman who has been leading. I mean, I can understand how some people will be, you know, you know, get a high fever with such things. But, so somebody was trying to make sense to another person about women preaching. And so, he said that if you, if you see somebody, if you are drowning, Right, if you are drowning right now, if you are drowning, and you are asking for help, you are asking for help, and the, the, the woman is passing, and the woman say, throws a rope, or throws at you something that you can float, or you can, that can help you to survive and, and come out. Will you say that? No, 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 no. It's okay. No, I don't want no woman to save me. Say, go, thank you very much. I'm looking for a man. Hey, where are the men? Yeah, hold it. Yeah. <laughs> now, if, if you know that your life depends on that rope, you don't look at you don't look at the gender of the person who is reaching out to save you. 
in the same way the person was trying to explain that a woman preaching to you salvation is not anything wrong with a woman preaching because salvation is not this important not a person who is preaching the bible says in, in christ there's no male no uh, female isn't it and so it takes compassion it takes a uh, concern it takes long suffering and kindness to really work with people i tell you and so the staff is shaped in a way that <laughs> you 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 see the sheep go astray go off as many times as possible but you still have to be able to use your staff to bring the sheep back into the fold and as often as the sheep goes off that is how often you use your staff that is why the staff is represents the stand for compassion and concern for the sheep because otherwise when you see the sheep again going down he's, 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 he's going into some uh, some valley or something he said but you wasn't it yesterday that i pulled you out from another valley what are you doing ahead hey, get, get rest yourself Again. you again <laughs> but the, the staff is the arm the staff is the part of the shepherd that helps him to deal with these kind of things and as long as you're to be a pastor as long as you're going to lead people as long as you're going to run a church you will have to do something again and again and again for somebody you have to have mercy passion Bible says the high priest is taken from among men and ordained for men so that he will have a, what compassion on the ignorant to offer sacrifices for sins so that's what the staff is for suffering long suffering kindness concern and compassion that the shepherd has for the sheep without these traits without these virtues you cannot be a shepherd because sheep as stubborn as they are can just go all over they can go all over all over sheep oh lord jesus you can you imagine if you are if you are leading a hundred sheep two hundred sheep that's why many people, many pastors can't lead a mega church. But that's why many churches are small because it takes something. It takes it takes the staff. It takes a certain a certain virtue from from the life or from the individual to be able to to open up. Because you see, if you can't have concern and compassion for people, they won't come to your church. Oh. People want to sex and still come to church. <laughs> people want to do all kinds of things they want to have child mother they want to have child father they want to have fellow one fellow two fellow three and fellow four verse three and still be in a church yeah fellow chapter three verse four <laughs> yeah yeah little party little this little that and they want to be in the church so if you are going to lead them i remember i had uh, somebody was telling me that there's a pastor who was leading his own prison worship in his church and um you know when when he, um he was asked why he's doing he's doing his own prison worship, he said oh, these people they are not they are not holy they, they, they are not <laughs> they are not sanctified they can't lead they can't they can't bring down the anointing they can't bring down the oil so he does the prison worship himself because when them people they leave church and they go and do all the kinds of things when they come back to church they are not able to bring down the unction for to function <laughs> unction to function <laughs> so the pastor was doing his own praise and worship by himself can you believe it yeah if you don't have concern for the sheep if you don't have compassion for the sheep if you don't have long suffering if you are not kind can you imagine how kind god is you and I kindness long suffering yeah, people, you have, people you have to suffer long for people if you love them long suffering oh, long suffering you have to suffer long if it's not nice to suffer I mean, if you suffer for a short time, praise the Lord at least. But to suffer long, eh, no, who, who, wants to, who wants to sign up for an agreement or a contract like that? But as you are signing this contract to be a pastor, you must, you must be able to suffer long. Wow. It's too fantastic. It's too fantastic. Hallelujah. You know, so it is um, the, the, um, the staff uh, stands for all these wonderful traits and virtues in the pastor of course uh, one of the things that the, the shepherd does with 
um, the staff is also to, to, to lean on um, the staff for support and uh, for comfort during uh, long waits. Now, before I even go into that, let me just tell you the symbol, the symbol of the um, the Holy Spirit, the symbol of the Holy Spirit, the the symbol of the staff. Sorry, the staff is symbolic of uh, the Holy Spirit. Somebody say with me, the Holy Spirit. The, Holy Spirit. the staff is symbolic of the Holy Spirit. Remember Galatians chapter five and verse twenty. Can we go there? If you have your Bible, Galatians chapter five and verse 20 22 sorry Galatians 5 and verse 22 but the fruit of the spirit is what is love is joy is peace is long suffering I, I follow me is long suffering is gentleness is goodness is faith is meekness is temperance against such there is no law against such there is no law well what it means is that you see when you when you love you are loving when you are kind you are kind it's not kind that has limitations and restrictions you, see, you know what i'm going to be kind to you for just two weeks okay after that, there's no me and you got no nothing for do with kindness. That, that that's 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 something that, that's I with law, with the law. I'll forgive you. I'll suffer longer as long as you don't try to make me look like a fool. That's what it means that the fruit of the spirit is 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 such that against that there is no law. It just flows. No limit. It flows. There's nothing like there's a limit to it. There's a there's a restriction to it. There's no law. It flows freely. And that is why that is why the staff is the symbol of the Holy Spirit. And because of that, the, the shepherd, it's, it's very important because when a shepherd is going to lead a sheep, when a pastor is going to lead the, his flock, his members, he needs to have these traits without against which there is no law. Because I, I tell you, if you don't take it, you kill a church member. Yeah. Some church men need skilling sometimes. <laughs> it, 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 I mean, I'm saying that to just say that. That's how sometimes church members leave the church. That is the killing. They, they leave the food. They leave the vicinity. Because it's like you get to a point where nothing is working. So then what happens is that now the kindness and everything... The, Things work in such a way that the person that leaves the church is that because it's that if if you're a shepherd and you have sheep and one sheep is, is misbehaving or you don't seem to be able to get a sheep to, to conform and all of that Christmas time you sell the sheep you will kill it for for lamb curry totally so so that's what happens when 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 all fails then you see that you lose the sheep in that way either the person leaves the church or they backslide something like that. It's, and that is why the shepherd needs the staff because you need that long suffering you need the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit is the staff that the shepherd uses because without the spirit of God let me tell you my spirit I, 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 hey, I remember when I was in school you know what the, I think we call it hasty so it's hasty bad I, my fuse was short the circuit was short I think when I was born, I don't know whether I got the cable to, 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 to do the parallel series of the circuits. Maybe it wasn't enough. When it got to me, uh, maybe it was short, it was, was not enough. You know, uh, I, I came around late 60s, so maybe getting to the late 60s, the, the, the cables were, were, not, uh, were not available. You know? So God probably was using, uh, was, was uh, trying to wisely use the cable to, to be able to bring a lot of people out. So uh, growing up, my fuse was short. Short fuse. I went to secondary school. Um, I was a school prefect. Anytime Bishop talks about school prefects, you know, I try to say, hey, forgive. <laughs> and I, I, was, I was given the chance to discipline my fellow students whenever they go out of, um, of the expectations of a student. 
you know, sometimes it's just coming to the dining hall without your cutlery set. Sometimes just walking on the school compound without tucking in your shirt. You know, sometimes not uh, showing up um, at various functions. Maybe it's church service you didn't attend, morning assembly you didn't attend. You know, maybe your chores, your uh, your uh, um, uh, morning um, uh, your morning uh, what do you call it uh, duties or your chores, uh, sweeping a, a compound, cleaning some place you didn't do it. Then you're supposed to be punished. But I was so hasty. I was so I didn't have patience to the extent that when somebody um, goes against the rules, I was given the same bamboo stick, this two feet bamboo that you put it in, <laughs> you put it in Kero, you put it in gas, you put it in the sun, you catch fire when people think. <laughs> I was given one as a, as a school prefect, and I was given liberty to use it with us wherever I wish, on, on whomsoever I, I, I wanted. <laughs> There were, against which there was no law of using. <laughs> and I used to handle the, 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 the king, I mean, wildly. You can't be a genius who wants to go against a rule in my presence. Oh my, lashes, legs, left, right, and center. I don't tell you stretch out your hand. I don't tell you give me your back or something. I just, I, I just, I just, I just, I just, I just all over the place. And one young guy, I think he tried my patience one day. And I, 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 I gave it to him. Whack, whack, whack all over his body. And then I heard later that his back, especially when he took off his shirt, his back was looking like chicken barbecue. <laughs> barbecue chicken. Yeah. The guy went home to report me to his mother. And the mother, the mother Jiga, you know Jiga? The mother was provoked. She came to the school shout pants. <laughs> 1980, a woman coming to a secondary school shout pants. It was very serious. So it's on how that you are wearing batik batik right there thing. I mean, it's like short pants is nothing. Those days, 1980s, 1987. I think it's 1987. A big woman to wear shirt pants. Big fat black woman. African one to come to your school, secondary school. It means that she's coming to wrestle. It means that John Cena is coming into the ring. It means that Jake the Snake Roberts is coming. It means that, hey, it means that some coffee, 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 coffee Jamaica girls. <laughs> coffee Kingston is coming. The woman came to the school in her short pants, looking for the school prefect. Hey! And then somebody uh, mentioned it to the assistant pastor, um, assistant, assistant headmaster. <laughs> hey, this pastor, right? that's just the assistant headmaster, the headmaster. That there's a woman moving around looking for the school prefect in sharp pants. And so that headmaster intercepted, and then spoke to the woman and all that, calmed her down, you know, to promise her that he will solve the situation. Then he called me and said, "You, you can't do that." I've told you, you should punish them. Don't, don't lash them. <laughs> don't lash the child. Hey. Oh, I used to lash far. I used to lash. But as, as I got saved, and the Lord started working on my heart as a pastor, hey, some of the things, one day I was, I was counseling somebody, somebody after church, I was standing um, uh, on stage, and then, you know, the church members, normally some of them will come, they say, hi, you know, good morning, how are you? They come and talk to me about some issues, challenges here, I pray with them. One day, one, one young lady came to me, as I was talking to her, um, I don't know what I said. Then she said, you mad? <laughs> I looked at her, I looked at her like that. I said, Lord God Almighty. <laughs> hey, you're lucky I, I am, I'm born again and washing the blood of Jesus. <laughs> By the time the mad, the D, the sound of the D, you get to the sound of the D, you get whack, whack. <laughs> <laughs> surprised she could something like that could come out of a church member's mouth to her pastor and i realized that you know what i mean this is somebody who doesn't even understand what she's doing kindness was exhibited long suffering was activated if you're going to be a pastor if you're going to be a christian leader without the holy spirit as your staff who will help you show kindness help you show uh, a compassion i tell you you will not survive are you with me? Yeah. Wonderful. So the, the staff is a symbolic of the 
Holy Spirit. Now, what does the staff, what does the shepherd use the staff for? Number one, he used the staff um, to draw sheep together into an intimate relationship. He uses the staff to draw sheep together into an intimate relationship. Draw sheep together into an intimate relationship. Now, this is what happens. He will use his, his staff to gently lift a newborn lamb and bring it to his mother if they become separated. Are you following? So, maybe next time I'll bring my staff. When a mother is separated from her lamb, the, the shepherd uses his staff to bring the 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 um the lamb back to the mother sheep if you read about shepherding i mean real shepherd i'm not talking about shepherding in terms of, of the bible but shepherding uh, somebody shepherd who has sheep and all of that they, they, you learn that the shepherd refuses to use his hand he refuses to use his hand because the mother will smell the hand of the shepherd and will not accept the lamb. And so to avoid the mother smelling anything on the, the lamb, the shepherd will use the staff. What does it mean? There's a scripture that says that if anybody falls, if anybody falls into sin, let those that are spiritual restore such a one in a spirit of meekness. I don't know if you know that scripture. You do. It's right on the screen. Then people, show, they are showing you right now the, the scripture right now. <laughs> if anybody is, over, is overwhelmed with anything bad, the Bible says that let those that are spiritual be the ones who will restore such a person. I don't know if you are catching what I'm trying to say. It tells you that when a sheep goes off, it is not the hand. You, can't, you cannot just go in and take the sheep out. You need, you need an aid. You need, you need like an advocate. You need something extra. Because if, if, if a situation comes right down, if a mother, if a pastor, you see, a mother and a lamb is just like a pastor and a church member. If there's a situation between a pastor and a church member, it is only the Holy Spirit that can bring them together. It is only the Holy Spirit. Anything else will make the lamb smell that the mother will not receive, receive the lamb. In other words, the, the church member who probably has an issue with, 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 with the pastor or the leader in the church cannot be reconciled to the leader except by the Holy Spirit. And that's why the staff is the one that the shepherd uses to bring the lamb back in relationship with the lamb's mother. Because it takes the Holy Spirit to really touch your heart and make you feel that you've done something wrong. He's the one who convicts us of sin. He's the one who says, you know what, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against thee. It is the Holy Spirit that brings children back to their parents. You can't say, oh, I is your mother. I is your mother. I burn you. You know, when I burn you, you know how I, I punish and all of that. Those things are natural. They are like the hand that touches the lamp that does not, does not allow the mother and the lamp to come together. If only you assess the Holy Spirit. If only you activate the power of the Holy Ghost. Your child and that lamp and that subordinate of yours, that church member of yours, their heart will be melted as the Holy Spirit convicts this person of sin and of what they have done wrong. The staff is using drawing sheep together into an intimate relationship. Mother sheep, baby sheep. Sometimes you 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 birth people. You see, and, and that's that's I think that's that's what we're trying to do. When when people say they don't want to come to the church anymore and all of that, when some people say, Oh, man, they don't want to pastor anymore and all of that. You see, at a point, the, the, the natural things you do don't even help. It's that the people go so far, they get so deceived, they go so off that no matter what you do, if, if you say A, they say you are saying A. If you say B, they say you are saying B. So it's like the Holy Spirit now has to really, you have to leave room for the Holy Spirit to work. 
And that's the only time a mother and a lamb, a mother sheep and a lamb sheep, <laughs> a, a child lamb, <laughs> can be brought together by the Holy Spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, let us not underestimate the power of the Holy Spirit to bring people together. Are you following? Yeah. Yeah. The staff is also used. Remember I'm talking about it's, it's the Holy Spirit drawing sheep together into an intimate relationship. Number one, under the intimate relationship, you're bringing the mother and the, the child sheep together. It takes the Holy Spirit. If your children are going to listen to you, it's not because you give birth to them. tell me if a lamb goes out or away from its mother I mean if you the, the best the best means to use is to use your, your hand to use natural means lift up the go follow the lamb lift the lamb up and say you know hey come here and then drop the lamb right by the by the mother why do you have to use a stick yes, which one is even even more handy which one is more? Well, your hand, you have, you're used to your hand more than you're used to a fork. Many people don't know how to use a fork and a knife. Like you say, use your hand. You say, hum, hum, hum. easy, food is finished. Or you say, so use fork and knife. So what? You cut it. You say, well, where does the fork go? Where does the knife go? Right, left side. And then you say, somebody should put it like that, like an excavator and a bump cut. Like that. So who? <laughs> you're, chopping, you're chopping meat in there. <laughs> um, Killing some cow that about two hours, something like that. <laughs> what am I saying? I'm saying that mothers, spiritual mothers, your children, don't underestimate the power of the Holy Spirit to rather unite you than you taking things into your own hands. When you do that, you mess up the situation. You mess up the situation. Didn't the scripture say that the Holy Spirit is our helper? Jesus, I will send you another comforter. He, the name comforter is paracletos. It means one who is called by another to help. Holy Spirit is our helper. So when the Holy Spirit is there, you don't put your hand to the plow. You allow him to do the work. Because he is he's more of a great help to you than your own hands. Because sometimes when you're affected, you can easily go in with a certain hand that is not so, so, so nice. No, you can easily go in and do things. I mean, so you see children. I think the other day I was going home and I saw a little boy. I think they were playing. The mother and, and there were about three of them. They were walking on the roadside. And the, this little boy, I think he was playing. And then he crossed the road before, you know, I drove to that point. And I think the mother got a little scared. When I when I when I drove past, I look into my mirror. The legs of the mother <laughs> I was on the roadside. But I'm so ooh. I mean, you don't listen. You know, every, <laughs> I mean, it's like you can do that. You can even hurt your child. That's what they call it physical abuse these days. Because it, it, the thing touches you, the thing affects you. So, if you are allowed to use your own hands by God in the kingdom of God, you do things that that are not that are not good. You do things that will even worsen the situation. That is why you have to now ask the Holy Spirit, like the staff, to come in, hook onto your child, and bring the child closer Amen. I have a lovely church member who I, I assigned a responsibility and one of the person came to me and said you know what they don't want to do anything in the church again I said, see what's this I said no problem a few weeks later Pezzi came to me right after church. So we were, we were talking. We were talking. I was saying in my head, you? You? You you look. You lucky that I have to exercise kind show compassion and kindness. Like you? Don't use the stuff to hook your neck. I'll juke your eye with a stuff. <laughs> I'll bore your eye with a stuff. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the conversation, she came to her senses that what she did was very wrong. And so she decided to apologize. And then she did. 
Let me tell you. If when she says she doesn't want to do anything in the church, if I had, had at that particular moment, if I had responded in the way I would, I would respond. Natural way. Natural way. If I put my hand on the lamb and say, lamb, come here to your mother. I don't think we would have even had that experience um, weeks later in such a very nice and very uh, peaceful way. I don't think it would have happened. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the Holy Spirit that brings it brings mommy and, 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 and daughter together in fellowship. Sometimes some people, some, some mothers are even wondering, why don't you tell me things? I'm your mother. Why don't you tell me? This is your friend that you've been telling. This is the person you've been telling things by telling. Let me tell you, it's the Holy Spirit too. It's not by virtue of the natural relationship. That's why people don't understand how sometimes some children can take the pastor so important than the, than the mother in a certain way. Because when they see the Holy Spirit working through the pastor and they see you, your natural self and some iniquity is <laughs> manifesting your life they are more attracted to the staff that pull that hooks them at the neck and brings them close they are more attracted to the staff than to you who doesn't who don't have any holy spirit to help you resolve issues and challenges i mean i say in the church that i pastor that you know what some of the things that i know of people's children if their parents were to know <laughs> Black out. They will never have light for the rest of their lives. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. It is the Holy Spirit. He brings sheep together into intimate relationship. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 27 and verse 17, and the bride and the, 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 what? the spirit and the bride says, come. The spirit and the bride says, come. What the spirit does, he says, come. He draws you close. Anything that makes you go away from your father, anything that makes you go away from your pastor, is not the Holy Spirit. Now, the fact that you are big and you want to run your own life doesn't mean that you shouldn't have a good relationship with your father. Should I say it again? The fact that you got this fella, I don't want to say this on, 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 on Facebook, but it just popped into my head. <laughs> cho -cho. <laughs> the fact that you have this guy or you have that lady and then maybe you you, 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 you have a nice job and all of that that's not and you want to be on your own it does not mean you should have a bad relationship with your parents however if the spirit is not at work then there's no unity. There's no calm. So those of you parents who don't have good relationship with your children, it's because you, you, you put your hand to the plow too much. Your emotions, everything is your emotions. Everything is what you, 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 you speak too much out of your own feelings and your inner. You, know, you have to rely on the Holy Spirit. That's why, that's why your child is not close to you. That's why your child is close to a stranger and then you're jealous. You're jealous, you're miserable, bad. Yeah, I've seen, you've seen some before, right? Yes. How come this man? How come this woman? How come this stranger? Because the staff, the person is holding a staff that seems to bring relationship, enhance relationship, and actually bring cordial relation. I mean, it brings uh, tranquility and, and, and oh, cordiality and cordialness. I don't know which one, which, which part is there. Is right? <laughs> the staff draws sheep together in an intimate relationship. The spirit and the bride says come the uh, staff is also used in drawing folks together for fellowship with one another and with Christ the reason why you and I not from the same family but we come together now, I, I see in the church I mean if you see my, my media team like this it's like they come from the same home it's like we're all born in the same house the same mother and father it's so beautiful so beautiful when they come they go very beautiful that's, that's, what, that's what it's supposed to be. The Holy Spirit makes you. You see, you can't be in the church and your feelings are so high. Your, your, your senses are so high. Your skin is so thin. Any little thing you are manifesting. Any little thing, manifestations of, 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 of iniquity. And the Holy Spirit is at work. Fellowship between brethren and brethren. So, the staff is used to bring sheep together in fellowship. It brings mother 
and baby together. It brings two Christians together. And then third, it brings folks or the sheep or the members in relation, in relation to, the whole, to, the, to God himself. The staff brings you close. The staff brings you close. If the Holy Spirit is at work in our church, we'll have less trouble among us. Less me talking to you. Me talking to you. Me spirit can't take shit. I, the, the first life in my life, it was in this beautiful cooperative republic of Guyana. In the church I pastored many years ago, when somebody said that some, their spirit can't take somebody's spirit, they said, me spirit can't take shit. I never knew that spirits couldn't take spirits. <laughs> <laughs> just like one day one lady told me uh, Bishop I've left the church so why? so my spirit has left the church <laughs> I wish I could find where that spirit had gone to bring the spirit back into the church it takes the Holy Spirit to bring us closer to God let me tell you your relationship with God is enhanced by oil your relationship with God is enhanced by the Staff. That's what brings you in relationship to God. So, you see, if you can't do quiet time, if you can't pray, you can't spend time with God, there's something wrong about your relationship with God. It, there's, there's an absence of the Spirit. There's an absence of the Helper. Is it because naturally you can't do this? Is naturally, is it two people in a church naturally will fight? Naturally will not agree? Naturally will not like each other? Naturally will have things to talk about? Naturally we will not be, we will not connect? Naturally, natural, naturally, naturally, the Spirit that comes in like a lubricating agent that makes relationship more nicer and cordial whenever there's oil or whatever the mechanism machine or whatever oil makes movement easier smoother and that's what the stuff that the stuff is used by the shepherd the holy spirit is used by the shepherd so that he is able to bring people together bring people to himself and bring people close to god Amen. Start your feet, give Jesus a big hand clap. Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God. Wow. What a blessing. Amen. Are you blessed? Oh, just thank God this morning. Thank God. Kabusi kebrende makaya bas kebrende rakata tabara bande me kebrende enderi abaka brasa tamara mama rike be me sete beri me kebrende me kebere be kabra baba baba sa remolo soto mukori ubo kebrende me sete beri me riba baba sata makaya babande rebe kebrende makaya basa tabarande me mayanda baskoto brondos keye beri me 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 sete re rika baba basa taya babanda raba baba raba baba Baskete berende makaria baba maro soto borobo kabra sete bere bebe blessed be your name O God thank you for your word la kosoto liketere baranda makoria baske brende rike bere me sete bere me kabra baba marande re me ke brende me ke re sete ria makabra baba dosa ikete me me ke ri me ke bere me sete re miria makabra baba my God my Lord la sete makaya baba dara mandoro boske te ye bere me ke brende me skete bebe. Rama mama satabara baba ba. Blessed be your name, O God. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for speaking to us in such a marvelous way. I know hearts are addressed. I know the Holy Spirit is going to be allowed, O God, in our lives, in our churches, and in our relationships. Thank you. And we are not the same again. In Jesus' name. Amen. You are not saved. You are not born again. You want to pray this prayer with me? Say with me, uh, dear Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. Forgive me of all my sins. Wash me with the blood of Jesus. I believe with all my heart. And I confess with my mouth. That Jesus is Lord. I believe Jesus died for me. I believe God raised Jesus from the dead. I open my heart right now. And I invite Jesus Christ. To come into my heart. To be my Lord and my Savior. Thank you Father. For saving my soul. In Jesus name. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand clap. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you so much. Uh, I believe you have been blessed by um, thy rod and thy staff. You want to give an offering?
a Saturday morning, but you can give an offering. You know our account number. You also have MMG, um, you know, opportunity 6273736 right there on your screen. Give an offering. I know it's a Saturday morning. You are watching us. You're cooking. You're watching us. You are probably relaxing, pulling gray hair and busting bile and all of that. But you want to give an offering, just go ahead, take out an offering, you know, send it to our MMG number. You want to pay your tithe as well. You can also pay your tithe this Saturday morning. I believe it's a great blessing. So take out your offering. Father, thank you for those that are giving Saturday morning. I pray for your blessings to abound over their lives. Those that are tithing also, pour out the blessing of God upon them. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. I'll see you next time around on the Green Pastures. God bless you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Wow. Thank you so much, Bishop, for blessing us with such anointed and great words. Amen. I know you at home looking at us this um, beautiful Saturday morning, you have received great knowledge and great wisdom. Amen. Make sure you take this knowledge, you take this great anointing that you receive this Saturday morning and put it to good use. Amen. I want to encourage you to please, you know, encourage your friends, encourage your family member to log on. Tell them every Saturday morning, you just go on Facebook, find if you are cooking, no problem. If you are cleaning, no problem. Just have the message playing in the background. Encourage them that as they have the message playing, they are sitting and watching or they are doing something and they are listening, God will speak to them and their lives will be changed. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until next week, stay blessed. Hallelujah.